to do it, set it up. And it was great. But it's kind of where do we take that from there? You know, you need something to take ideas like that forward. So there's no problem with shortage of ideas. It's having the courage to do them and, and for the established media to think, well, look, I am in a corner, but I don't have a choice here. I've got to find new ways of doing things. And the best way of doing that I've ever found is by you know, just taking off a small amount of resource uh, with the objective of saying, here's your, here's your task, here's the job, is to try new things, is to, with these targets, to engage with more people on social media or on one particular platform, or it may be a, it may be a podcast launch for an audience that is LinkedIn-based, a business audience, a maritime audience. We're here with NLNG, a, a business energy-based audience, for example. It could be that. It could be a newsletter, which has now transform the New York uh, Times revenues and bringing in a fortune in subscriptions. I'm not saying subscriptions are entirely the way forward quite yet here. They're coming. Two years ago, POS here was not as big as it is now. People weren't using it. And say, people are getting used to the idea of small amounts of cash changing hands. And when you can build value, build value in what you're doing, and people are able to respect it enough to want to pay for it, then that was the turning point in rescuing the fortunes of newspaper-based organizations in many parts of the world. Online itself was losing a lot of money for a long time and they were struggling. It was only when really they turned the corner where people were actually willing to support them with their money, support the online offer with yeah. money, whether that be via newspapers, podcasts, everything different tiers of service and they were willing to do that that was a turning point that was a really big turning point yeah but we also we also have a problem there